Italy is considering undertaking an engineering marvel, constructing the world's longest suspension bridge. Stretching a massive 3.2 kilometers across the Strait of Messina, this bridge aims to link Italy's mainland directly to Sicily. With a history dating back to Roman times, the ambition to bridge these two lands has persisted for millennia. From Consul Metellus's makeshift barrel bridge to transport war elephants to the high-tech visions of today, the project estimated to cost 4.5 billion euros for the bridge alone has faced numerous challenges over the years, including political shifts, budgetary constraints, and environmental concerns. This ambitious endeavor represents a significant engineering achievement and a pivotal moment in the country's infrastructural development. Will Italy finally succeed in building the world's longest suspension bridge? Or will it remain an elusive aspiration despite daunting challenges? The story of Italy's quest to build the world's longest suspension bridge connecting the mainland to Sicily is not just a tale of modern engineering ambition, but a narrative deeply rooted in history and necessity. The Strait of Messina, a mere 3.2 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, has long stood as a natural barrier separating Sicily from the Italian peninsula. This division has shaped economies, cultures, and lives for centuries. Though only a couple of miles wide at its narrowest point, this strait represents a significant barrier, both practically and symbolically. Firstly, the strait's geographical challenge has created a significant disconnect in travel and transportation. For instance, the train journey between Palermo in Sicily and Bari on the mainland covers a distance comparable to that between Turin and Rome, yet it takes three times as long. This inefficiency is primarily due to the slow and often unreliable ferry services that connect Sicily to the mainland. As a result, Sicily, despite being geographically close to the mainland, is practically much more isolated. Secondly, building a bridge over the Strait of Messina solves this long-standing connectivity issue. A bridge would significantly reduce travel time between Sicily and the rest of Italy and integrate Sicily more closely into the country's economic, social, and cultural life. It would facilitate more effortless movement of goods and people, potentially transforming Sicily into a logistical hub and boosting its economy. The desire to bridge this gap has been a persistent theme dating back to ancient Roman times. The earliest recorded attempt can be traced to 252 BCE, when Consul Metellus utilized barrels and wood to create a temporary passage for transporting war elephants. This ingenious yet fleeting solution underscored the strategic importance of the strait, a crucial juncture for trade and military movements. The idea of a permanent bridge has surfaced repeatedly throughout history. In the medieval era, Norman adventurer Robert Guisard and later Roger II of Italy contemplated the idea. The modern pursuit of this ancient dream began earnestly in the 20th century. Post-World War II, Italy revisited the concept in its quest for nation-building and modernization. The 1950s witnessed the severe first engineering proposals, with master bridge builder David B. Steinman suggesting a design that would have been a world record then. Despite his ambitious vision, the project remained on paper, a victim of post-war economic constraints and technological challenges. The dream resurfaced in the 1960s with a renewed sense of possibility driven by advancements in engineering and material sciences. The Italian government, recognizing the potential economic and cultural benefits of such a monumental link, invested in feasibility studies. These studies revealed the strait's geography and geology challenges, such as its strong currents, deep waters, and seismic activity. Despite these obstacles, the bridge remained an alluring prospect. As the 21st century dawned, the bridge project, now more than just a dream, began taking concrete shape. But how does one design a structure to withstand the strait's turbulent waters and seismic forces? 
What innovations and technologies are considered to make this audacious project a reality? Conceived as a marvel of modern engineering, the Strait of Messina Bridge is designed to be more than a mere passage between the Italian mainland and Sicily. Envisioned to be the longest suspension bridge in the world, the proposed structure is designed to span an impressive 3.2 kilometers with towering pylons standing at a height of 382.6 meters, surpassing the Millau Viaduct in France, currently the tallest bridge in the world. This monumental height is not just for show, it's a functional necessity to provide a minimum vertical clearance of 65 meters for navigation, accommodating even the tallest of ships. The bridge's ambitious design includes four traffic lanes, two driving lanes, and one emergency lane in each direction, along with two railway tracks and pedestrian lanes. This comprehensive planning underscores the bridge's role as a multifaceted conduit for transportation, not just for vehicles, but for trains and foot traffic. Regarding connectivity, the bridge is much more than a standalone structure. It's envisioned as a central artery in a more extensive network, with 20.3 kilometers of road and 19.8 kilometers of railway links. On the mainland side, it's planned to connect to the Salerno Reggio Calabria Motorway, A3, and the proposed Naples Reggio Calabria High Speed Railway Line. Meanwhile, the Sicilian side is expected to link to the Messina Catania, A18, and Messina Palermo, A20 motorways, and a new railway station in Messina. Beyond its practical purposes, the bridge represents a bold urban vision, aiming to connect Reggio Calabria to Messina, effectively creating an integrated metropolitan area known as the City of the Strait. This concept of merging two cities across a strait symbolizes a significant socio-economic transformation, potentially altering the region's dynamics. Tackling the Strait of Messina Bridge project is a Herculean task, combining the challenges of extreme natural forces with groundbreaking engineering solutions. The Strait, notorious for its mythical monsters Scylla and Charybdis, symbolizes the treacherous conditions any construction must withstand, violent currents, high winds, and seismic threats. The Strait of Messina, notoriously turbulent, is marked by alternating currents strong enough to tear seaweed from the ocean floor and frequent gales reaching speeds of 100 km per hour. Furthermore, its position atop the converging African and Eurasian tectonic plates adds an ominous threat of earthquakes. The devastating earthquake of 1908, with a magnitude of 7.1, is a stark reminder of the strait's seismic volatility, having claimed up to 82,000 lives. Given these formidable natural challenges, the proposed design of the bridge is a marvel of engineering ingenuity. This design cleverly circumvents the issue of violent currents by avoiding the placement of any piers in the strait, thus not only simplifying construction, but also ensuring unobstructed passage for ships. The bridge's anchoring on land is strategic, providing a stable foundation capable of withstanding seismic shocks. To combat the strait's seismic activity, the bridge will include a buffer system that allows the deck to absorb vibrations flexibly. Stability is further ensured by two colossal anchors, each a formidable mix of over five and a half million cubic meters of concrete and steel, anchoring the structure securely against the Earth's tremors. Yet this engineering feat comes with its own set of challenges. The bridge, upon completion, is set to surpass the current record holder, Turkey's Kanakale Bridge, by over a kilometer, making it the world's longest suspension bridge. This vast expanse brings its vulnerability, exposure to the strait's ferocious winds. The bridge's design incorporates an innovative deck structure to counteract the effects of high winds. Instead of a conventional single deck, the bridge will feature three separate box girders, one for railways and two for vehicular traffic. These boxes are connected by crossbeams, spaced every 30 meters, adding strength and stability. The clever aerodynamic design of these box girders works to redirect wind forces, channeling them upward through the gaps. 
thereby mitigating the impact of wind speeds as high as 300 km per hour. As we reflect on this monumental undertaking, it's clear that its success hinges on overcoming technical challenges and environmental, political, and social hurdles. What are your thoughts on the potential success of this project? Do you believe the Strait of Messina Bridge will finally turn from a dream into reality, overcoming its myriad challenges? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. For more captivating content, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember to turn on notifications.